This is a continuation of our previous video, which was the design of a reinforced concrete column. Today we will design the shear reinforcement of the same column. Now to start the design, we will consider again these material and section properties. For the FC primer the concrete strength equals to 27.6 MPa or 4 kPa per square inch. FY or the rebar yield strength equals to 414 MPa or 60 kPa per square inch. FYT or the shear reinforcement yield strength, which is equals to 276 MPa or 40 kPa per square inch. The clear span length of the column is 3 meters. Our column dimension is 375 mm by 625 mm, with a concrete clear cover equals to 40 mm. The main reinforcement is 8 pieces of 28 mm diameter rebar, and we will be using 10 mm rebar for the lateral ties. For the loadings, let's say we have a 200 kN shear forces at the supports and 15 kN at the midspan, all forces acting along the x-axis. The value of the effective depth D is equals to the height of the column parallel to the shear force, in this case, is the 375 mm, minus the concrete cover 40 mm, minus the diameter of lateral tie 10 mm, minus one half of the diameter of the main rebar which will give us a value of 311 mm. But take note that we will be using the provisions under the special moment resisting frames. To begin, first let us calculate for the spacing considering the actual shear force VU, which is a formula. S is equals to area of the shear reinforcement times the shear reinforcement yield strength times the effective depth divided by the steel shear strength, Vs. First, we will calculate for the concrete shear strength, Vc which is equals to 0.17 times the square root of Fc prime times the width B times the effective depth D, which gives us 174 kilonewton. And then we will calculate for the steel shear strength, Vs which is a formula, Vs equals to ultimate shear force divided by the reduction factor phi minus the concrete shear strength, Vc, and the result is 93 kilonewton. And finally, the value of our first spacing, S1, is equals to pi times 10 square divided by 4 times 3 for three legs lateral tie times the 276 megapascal shear reinforcement yield strength times the effective depth d divided by the steel shear strength vs which gives us 217 millimeters and for the other spacings we will consider the provisions under the columns of special moment resisting frames s2 is equals to one fourth of the minimum column dimension which is equals to 94 millimeters. S3 is equals to six times the diameter of the smallest longitudinal bar, which is equals to 168 millimeters. And S sub zero, which is a formula 100 plus 350 minus HX divided by three, where HX is equals to the height of the column parallel to the shear force, minus two times the concrete cover, minus two times the diameter of lateral tie, which would result to 275. And S sub zero is now equals to 100 plus 350 minus 275 divided by three, which gives us 125 millimeters. And take note that S sub zero shall not exceed 150 millimeters and need not be taken less than 100 millimeters. And choose the smallest of those spacings, which is the 94 millimeters. But for this design, we will round it down to 90 millimeters. And this spacing shall be applied to the length LO, and length LO shall be at least the largest of. First is the maximum cross-sectional dimension of the column, which is in this case, the 625 mm. Second is one-sixth of the clear span length of the column, which would result to 500 mm. And the last one is 450 mm. And we will then choose the length LO as 625 mm. Take note that the first hoop shall not exceed one half of the smallest spacing that we have obtained earlier, which is one half of 90 millimeters, that gives us 45 millimeters, and from that point up to the length LO, which is the 625 millimeters, the spacing is 90 millimeters. This time, we will design the spacing of lateral ties from point LO up to the center of the column. To do that, we need to calculate for the steel shear strength, VS. First we will calculate for the concrete shear strength, Vc, which is equals to 0.17 times the square root of Fc prime times the width B times the effective depth, D, which gives us 174 kN. 
and then we will calculate for the steel shear strength, Vs which is a formula, Vs equals to the ultimate shear force, which is 15 kN, divided by the reduction factor phi, minus the concrete shear strength, Vc, and this will give us a negative value. And under table 410.7.6.5.2, if the steel shear strength, Vs, is less than 0.33 times the square root of Fc prime times the width B, times the effective depth, D, spacing should be the smaller between D over 2 and 600 millimeters. And again, the effective depth, D, is equals to the height of the column parallel to the shear force, in this case, is the 375 millimeters, minus the concrete cover 40 millimeters, minus the diameter of lateral tie 10 millimeters, minus one half of the diameter of the main rebar, which will give us a value of 311 millimeters. Divide it by 2, which would result to 156 millimeters. And therefore choose the smaller between 156 millimeters and 600 millimeters. So the spacing is 156 millimeters, but in this case, we will round it down to 150 millimeters. Now, the overall result of our design of shear reinforcement of this column should be in this manner. Fist hoop is 45 millimeters, followed by 90 millimeters up to the length LO, and from that point up to the center of the column, we have a spacing of 150 millimeters. And same applies to the other side of the column. And that's it for this topic. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, this would help the channel a lot. And if there's a topic you might want to talk about related to civil engineering, just write it down below.